All right, Shalom, first and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakha Kodash. No double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, and peace and salutations unto the elect. Now I pray this lesson is edifying unto you, brothers and sisters out there, who are all the hopeful elect. In this video, I just wanted to go over loving the brotherhood. You know, it's very important. It's actually, you know, a commandment to love thy neighbor as thyself, it says in the scriptures, man. Which we know that's, you know, that's talking about Israelite, you know, your Israelite brothers and sisters, man, that are in this truth, man. As Yahweh I said, you know, my, my, my brothers and my sisters are the ones that do the will of the Heavenly Father. You know, but, you know, your brothers and sisters are in this truth, man, who believe in the Yahweh Shem Yahweh man. And you should have love for them. Not hating them, not holding grudges against them, just like it, not holding grudges against your brothers, your brothers. You no, know? not hating them, not speaking down on, on your brothers, you know, not stealing from your brothers, man. But loving them. But anyways, this is First John 2 and 9. He that saith he is in the light. And hateth his brother is in darkness even until now. So if you believe you in this truth. You know, you, you saying you claiming that you in this truth. You know, you in the body of Yahweh Shai. And you hating your brother. You really in darkness, man. You not in the light. You know, verse 10, he that loveth his brother abideth in the light and there is none occasion of him of stumbling in him. Verse 11, but he that hateth his brother is in darkness and walketh in darkness and knoweth not whither he goeth because that darkness hath blinded his eyes. Kind, you know, and hey, that was pretty much, you know, straight, that was straightforward, you know. Hey, if you love your brother, you 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 in this truth, man. You really doing the will of the Heavenly Father. But if you don't, if you're not loving your brother, which is a commandment, then you in you really in darkness, man. Because you really don't understand, you know, this truth. You really don't understand this thing you're part of, man. If you don't love your brother. You know, man, I'm speaking to myself first and foremost, man. We can all, you know, we all learning, man. Even me. You know. So I'm gonna get I'm gonna get Matthew twenty two and thirty seven. Twenty two and thirty seven. Let's start at thirty six. Master, which is the great commandment in the law? Yahweh Shai said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind this is the first and great commandment and how do you love the most high god yahweh by obeying his laws that's his commandments by obeying his commandments man to the best of your ability you know i'm gonna read down to verse 9 39 and the second is like unto it thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself man so the same way you would love yourself the same way you love yourself, love your neighbor the same way. Your brother, your you no, know, your brothers and sisters in this truth, man. You should love them just like you love yourself, man. <clears throat> you no, know, that's that's what Yahweh Shai said. And that's a commandment you should be following. Every brother, you no, know, everybody, you no, know, every issue like that believing in this truth should be following this thing, man. Following this commandment, like you, you should be following this in this commandment, man. Love thy neighbor as thyself, and if you're not doing so, you in darkness, just as First uh, John two says, man. But anyways, I'm gonna I'm gonna get what you know it means to love, in Romans. Uh, Romans. 13 and 10. Um, 
Um, hold on. Yeah, let's get Romans 13 and 10. And we're going to get it in the NLT. Let's get it in the NLT. Romans 13 and 10. Love does no wrong to others. So love fulfills the requirements of the Most High's law. Wait, hold on. I'm in the... Hold on, let's start up. Slack here. Right. Uh, Romans 13 and 8 in the NLT. It's like, yeah, I know I'm kind of, you know, um, <laughs> going off the point, but here we go. Romans 13 and 10, Romans 13 and 8 in the NLT. Owe nothing to anyone except for your obligation to love one another. And he's talking, and in, 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 this is in Romans, you know, talking to the Israelites that are in Rome. You know, not, it's not, this is not, this word is not for all the, you know, the whole world. It's for Israelites and how they should conduct themselves around their brothers and sisters, man. But I'm going to start back up in verse 8. Owe nothing to anyone except for your obligation to love one another. If you love your neighbor, you will fulfill the requirements of the most, of the most high's law. For the commandments say you must not commit adultery you must not murder. You must not steal. You must not covet. These and other such commandments are summed up in this one commandment. Love your neighbor as yourself. Love does no wrong to others. So love fulfills the requirements of the Most High's law. Right. So if you love your brother, if you really love your brother, you're not going to steal from him. You're not going to steal from him. You're not going to kill from him. Kill. <laughs> it's like you're not going to kill him. You're not going to steal him. Steal from him. You're not going to bear false witness against him. You know, you're not going to lay with his wife. You're not going to do any of these things, man. That's how you show your love for your brothers, man. You know, you're not going to hold grudges against them. There's many ways you can show love for your brother, man. You can't just say you love your brother and then do some fucked up shit against them you know but anyways no that was the point that was the whole point of the lesson I just wanted to you know stress the fact that you must love your brothers man no matter what but anyways with that I just want to give all praises honor and glory unto Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai Bahashim Raka Kodash Double honors into the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well and peace and salutations to the elect Shalom.